best documentary. Uh, what is it about documentary that, as a, as a medium, that makes it better to tell your story as opposed to using a narrative? Well, I'd say especially for young people, um, they're, not, they're very self-conscious about getting in front of the camera, and with drama, you know, it can, it can look too contrived. Whereas, you know, documentary, um, you know, it's real life. You know, they they're just putting down onto film what, what's happening in front of them, the real stories. So I think that makes it easier for them and they develop throughout the process um, and, and gain more from it rather than I think um, dramas are very valid but, but with documentary film it's, it's, I think it's a lot more real, it's, it's different. Yeah. I think what seems to be great as well about these particular, this particular body, there's um, a practical side of filmmaking that the students are taught as well that's obviously crucial, isn't it? Yeah, well, you know, I'm not a filmmaker myself. I was just the protagonist of the, what we were talking about and I learned a lot just by being there. So the practical side to it, like using the camera and like the way things were mo being moved along and that and the, the sound equipment that we had them using, what are them things jib, called? Jib. The jib in the middle of the street. Like they got me walking around the corner and the kids were doing that and it, you know, t it took loads of goals. They all had loads of goals and they were getting better each time. So I think being able to do things like that was enjoyable for them and um, it's, they're learning new skills. I mean, I couldn't have done it. I was looking at them. Like, so they, they did really well with all of that stuff. Well, I think also as well that a lot of the young people, um, they were on the peripheral edge of um, education, academia. A lot of them, you know, hadn't done well in school at all, and they thought it was impossible. It wasn't. It wasn't a possibility for them to go to college and do media. But after being involved in the project, they said, "Yeah, you know, I, I can do this." And we said to them, "Listen, you can do it. Take this film as a part of a portfolio to a college. And if any college teacher tells you that you can't get on a film project with built, making a film." like this well tell us and we'll go to the college with you and a lot of them became empowered and said yeah you know I can go to college and that was massive for us and these are young people that weren't interested in education you know and we got them hands-on practical something tangible they've made uh, as a part of a portfolio they'd have never have done that in school or in college um, to that point and now they're, they're willing to go to college and, and do something with themselves so we it was brilliant and art for you, you you you've got such a history within the film industry. Um, has the change of digital technology helped yes, maybe transform? Exactly. Yes, it has. It's helped. It's you know whereas before the idea of making a film was if you were lucky somebody in the family had a had a Super 8 uh, or a video camera. Now some of the most amazing little shorts are made on people's uh, mobile phones. It's, it's moved on. The narrative, the way of telling the narrative is, is now part of a generation that's... Whereas my generation basically grew up with theatre and the word, whereas now imagery is really part of this generation. I'm very excited.